Hey guys, Footy Manager TV here. Welcome to episode number 36 of my Football Manager 2015 Let's Play with Manchester United. And today, we're looking for a win after the two last games were draws in the last episode. Uh, Swansea away from home in the league was 0-0. And the Champions League game against AC Milan was 1-1. So we really need to continue on. And you think it's a perfect chance against Burnley. They've been doing okay. They're outside of the relegation zone. They've won three games already this season. That's It's okay for them. It's not amazing. Uh, they're doing okay. So, But you think we should win. But then we also have Cardiff in the Capital One Cup, which I don't really rate too highly. Especially, I want to keep uh, focusing on the league. Champions League as well. Might play some younger players. If we win, we win. If we lose, we lose. Doesn't really matter. And the board doesn't really care um, if we get knocked out early. Uh, this is the team I'm going to go in with. It's still a couple like Adnan Yanazai. Still not. He's not prime fitness yet. And we're needing him to play every single game. We need him to play every single game because, yeah, one Quadrado is out. But we do have Mata on the bench. We can bring him on. We'll Sob Di Maria around that side. Depends. Yeah. We'll see what happens throughout the game. And again, Giovinco and Riscal Dani. Actually, I'm going to play Falcao instead of Giovinco. Because Falcao needs match fitness. And it's a perfect occasion, like a must-win. Yeah, it's a must-win game, but it's a simple win. That's what I think. So it would be a good game to introduce him back from the injury. Axel Witzel, I've actually changed his squad status. It was actually on key player, because that's what we signed him for, uh, really. He wanted, big, he, wanted big, he wanted big money, so we gave him key player. But I've dropped it back to rotation, but I haven't got any messages from him saying he's unhappy about that. So hopefully I can just continue to play him and he can kind of forget about that because that happened last season. That happened last season. Surely he has to get over it. So hopefully he can come in and yeah, put in some better performances. And you think if he can't perform against Burnley, yeah, um, it just yeah his confidence is shot. So he just need he needs that confidence back. Uh, Jose Maria Jimenez again playing him. He wants first team football. Uh, especially as he's not registered in the Champions League, uh, playing in yeah uh, English Cups, whether it be Capital One Cup, FA Cup, and playing him in the league is where we need to uh, yeah play him, obviously. So Yuri Tielemans, I might leave him for the next game, Cup game. Uh, he's improving fantastically. He's going to be one of the best central midfielders in the world. But yeah, as I said, this is the team we're going in with. Uh, there's enough quality, definitely. Now bring in Falcao. Hope he can have a good game. It'll be interesting to see... It'll be very interesting to see if I can get him on loan again, actually, next season. But, yeah, we'll see how that goes. What? Drogba. I'm just surprised. Whoa. He went to Burnley. He scored three goals for them. I guess it's worth it. <laughs> 37 years old, Drogba. I, I just didn't expect that. Then they're playing a flat five at the back. Whoa. That's a lot. And they got Richards. Mika Richards as well. So they've made good signings. Their team looks... It doesn't look too bad, doesn't it? Uh, they've got Boyd, Colback, uh, Routledge. So they've got some decent Premier League players there. Eric Dyer as well. Is he on loan? Yeah, so... But he's not that amazing yet. But still, uh, they've got some decent players. Especially Drogba. So we will continue into the team talk. We'll go passionately... And say, what are we going to... Yeah, expect nothing but a win. This must be a win. Not amazing reactions from the team talk, though. So we see how it goes. Will Hughes back in. Will Hughes can be a super player, really. Witzel. See, I noticed Witzel, like, during the game, he makes good tackles and he passes well. He's... Yeah, he does better than his rating suggests, in my view. And now Luke Shaw Falcao. It was a good move to play him here. Like I said, against an easy enough team... He's an obviously not match fit, but he can still score. Only took him uh, four minutes. <laughs> but yeah, Will Hughes played that nice ball for Luke Shaw coming in for this game. See that just pace there to get past his man and then get the cross in? That's fantastic. What's going to happen now? Uh, Rest called Dani's picked up a knock. Well, it said that anyway, or it said something. Because he's not in condition. Must be something else. But yeah, uh, this is an excellent start to the game. And then second here would be absolutely perfect. Will Hughes. Yanazai smashed one. That is excellent. Fourth goal of the season for Adnan Yanazai. He hasn't had an amazing start to the season because of a little bit of injury and that kind of stuff. But saying that, I think he can have a real amazing season. See, he's playing right mid, but he's making a run from there. So, yeah, everything's set up. The positions, the player instructions, the team instructions. Everything is set up perfectly. 
uh, for a lot of reasons. And yeah, we're performing well here. But obviously, we need to do it against the best teams as well. Like last two games are draws. Jimenez, cross it. What is he going to do? He finds Yanazai. Surprised he didn't put the cross in right away. Now, Vitzel. Di Maria. Oh, it would have been nice if Vitzel could get an assist. Just increase his confidence even more so. Yanazai puts it in. Ooh, straight at Bogdan. Yeah, Di Maria's picked up a knock as well. Yeah, Rescaldani is not playing too well. And Falcao, yeah, low condition. He definitely won't play the full game. But we will say passionately, I'm very happy. It's a good chance to praise them. Because <laughs> I don't think I have it in the last two games. Because uh, it would have been behind or, yeah, drawing. Come on. Drogba's offside. Yeah, just opportunity to make some changes here. Uh, who do we take? Our rest called Dani. Yeah, hasn't played too well in this game. He's been a bit up and down. He started really well, but he's dropping down a little bit now. Make sure he doesn't, yeah, uh, keep that form going. Just make sure, yeah, he gets back to scoring some goals for us. Uh, Axel Witzel, uh, we'll take him out. We'll bring on Lucas Romero. And a final sub should be, I'm not sure who. Adnan Yanez, I definitely need to keep him. Keep his fitness up. We'll bring on one Mata. And actually, we'll bring Di Maria there. See how Mata, yeah, I think, yeah, similar rating anyway. Now, actually, might as well keep one of them in their best position, like Di Maria. That's probably wise. But again, anyway, Memphis Depay will go passionately. I have faith in you. Looks happy. We'll go Lucas Romero. Faith in you. And one Mata, I will say calmly and say, Ooh, I have faith in you. Yeah, he looks happy. Two out of three players look happy there. So, you would imagine we shall continue on here in a very important game. Like, these are, like, games I go into and just expect to win. I want to get it over and done with. And I suppose the next game in the Capital One Cup as well. But, yeah, I want to be showing every single game. That's how I've been recording these, really. So, you'll get these games where they should be easier. You see Depay making a run there and blasting it. But, yeah, these are kind of simpler games. But you're going to get these throughout a season. But... These are opportunities when I want to play maybe younger guys. Like, you want to see how Will Hughes does. Anyone else, particularly in this game, not really. Maybe Jimenez a little bit. But you just want to see how they play. Romero. Depay. Ooh, we've had a couple chances. Surprised we haven't scored another. But, yeah, it's, like I said, this is an elementary win. It's an expected win. And it should be 2-0. We may score one more. There's 40 seconds left. Depay pressure. And I have players like that as well. For me, Depay, I really want to see him do well, like score a lot of goals and stuff. Romero, he could be amazing as well. Romero, see, I like signing those players uh, that I actually like as young players and then see them develop into, yeah, the best players or in the world or, or just at least a world-class player, really, a star player. And it's a good feeling, like you develop that player. So finally the game is over just was waiting for it to end there and it's a 2-0 expected victory these are the ones you just got to get the job done and we did we'll go assertively and well done lads it was a good win for us so here we are for the away game against cardiff in the capital one cup it's still early in the cup uh, fourth round uh, looking to get a win once again and continue our unbeaten streak been unbeaten for a while change of positions once again uh burnout actually first game he's going to be playing as a winger for us Really interested to see how he goes because he's been performing really well, especially in the league, which is probably the biggest, <laughs> yeah, the best competition uh, to be performing well in. And yeah, he's doing the he's doing the job well. Uh, you can see he's doing well in training, increasing. So yeah, he's showing he's worth the signing. Uh, we'll play Jimenez again, even low condition. It just yeah to play him more. He wants to be playing first team football. So if we play him here, uh, when Rafael is a bit lower condition, uh, I think we'll just. This is still 97, I guess, but like I said, in this Capital One Cup kind of game, you might as well be playing him. And we'll see how it goes. You've got Witzel, again, same situation. Witzel, he's wanting that first-team football, so I want to play him as much as possible in easy enough games to win uh, so he can get back being happy because I feel if he gets happy, he'll be good. And who's this Rawls guy? I've heard of him before. I'm not sure where. I think, like, on FIFA, I got him on Ultimate Team or something. I don't know. <laughs> but... Yeah, opposition instructions, got those set, and we shall say aggressively, a team such as ours should be winning this match without any problem at all, so, yeah, usually, yeah, listening keenly reactions, nothing too amazing, haven't really hit the nail on the head uh, with team talks yet, 
but yeah, that's it's ever changing on your expectations, what team you are, and all that kind of stuff. Your form, just yeah, so many things. So you can't just say one thing consistently. Eventually, you'll need to change it up. Yanazai, Depay, finds Giovinco. Oh, major chance for Giovinco. We're having a couple chances there, but couldn't really get a clear second shot on there. It's Mason. Oh, good tackle, um, Titi. Now it's Yanazai. Oh, a big ball from Yanazai. Finds its way to Giovinco. Plays it through to Wamba Nats. And he finds Depay. I really want to be playing Depay as one of those striking positions. We are teaching him in that complete forward because he could score just an insane amount of goals in a season opposed to playing as a left midfielder. He just got that striking instinct. Look at that. So he could definitely play as a strike and have a huge season, like a 20-goal season, if not more. So leave your thoughts on that. But we do need an extra left mid to rotate with Di Maria. So we'll see. Oh, Mason. He gets the goal back, Joe Mason. It's disappointing uh, to concede, obviously, from a corner because I feel as though like a lot of my training is worked on attacking or defending. I don't really spend too much time defending set pieces. I feel as though it's too overpowered when you don't work on defending set pieces, if that makes sense. You can see too many if you don't work on it and you're kind of forced to. But I know, yeah, it's realistic, but... Yeah, just one of those things. Witzel, Bernat. We should get the goal back here. Giovinco. What a hit by Giovinco. He's been an important player uh, for us. By any means, I'm not saying he's been our best player or he's been amazing or anything like that. He's just been... He's playing the, ro the role, definitely, of a free signing. And you got to have quality to strike that. Giovinco. He's a nice little signing for us. Like I said, nothing major, just a free yeah, free signing, and he's done the job. Uh, Bernat, two assists in left midfield, so he's showing in that role. Now, he's doing well. Uh, we'll say assertively, don't get complacent because we're only winning by the goal. Uh, Giovinco, at least for him, I'll say passionately, and I'm very happy with his performance, and he's just confused now for some reason. I said he was happy. Oh, I was happy. But we need to continue. It's still only 2-1. Depay. He has another chance here from a free kick. Oh, what a chance for Memphis Depay. Amazing. It was well here. It was just, yeah, beaten by the post at the end of the day. Luke Shaw. Witzel. Oh, and yeah, I'm sure people were wondering about Pressland in this game, why we didn't play him. It's just because he's been playing reserve games. As Depay sets up another one for Giovinco to score his fourth, yeah, fourth of the season, second of today's game. Yeah, Preston, he's just selected for reserve game, so he wasn't fit. I should have thought about that, but uh, yeah, we're still going to win this anyway. Uh, Depay played it nicely through Giovinco, and he scores another goal. Uh, like I said, playing his role for the team, and he's doing it well. And But Memphis Depay, though, he's had a real good game. He's looked real dangerous in scoring positions, uh, creating as well. And yeah, we should make some changes here. I just want to see how long to the next game, like what's the next game and all that. Oh, uh, yeah, we've got Wigan four days later. It's a fairly simple game. Of course, Wigan uh, getting promoted. Uh, what should we do here? And, of course, I'm Titi. You would have seen it there. He's gone up to 16 determination. Uh, he's getting tutored by Raphael, basically, just because, yeah, Raphael has high determination. I think it's like 17. So I thought it could grow a bit. Um, Axel Witzel will drop him out. And we'll bring in Lucas Romero. Just drop him for, yeah, T. Lemans probably better in that role. Uh, Yanazai, again, just rest him. He's only 72 condition now. I uh, will bring on one Mata. And one more little sub. Oh, I was going to I was gonna bring on Nicole Liali for this game, uh, for Valdez. But, yeah, I forgot about that a little bit. Um, Memphis Depay will take off and will bring on Reskaldani. Lucas Romero, again, I'll say passionately, I have faith in you. One Mata will say calmly, I have faith in you. He looks happy. Rescaldani, I'll say assertively. Uh, pressure off tonight. He hasn't been performing too well in recent times, but for the season as a whole, he's been good. He scored uh, quite a few goals, so he's been important. And yeah, strikers go through that anyway. They go through slumps in a season, and they go through a, yeah, a period of scoring consistently. It's just what you get from strikers. 
Telemans, Bernat. He lost the ball. That's not very good. Theophile Catherine to Kiss. Mason, Healy. Kiss, Mason. Ooh, would have been interesting if they scored that. But yeah, that was a good play by them. But we could kill it off here. Telemans finds Bernat. Bernat finds Reskoldani. <laughs> All these signings combining together. That was fantastic. It started off with Telemans in midfield. Perfect run by Bernat. And then he just had to set it up. There was two players there. Or almost three he could have found. And it Reskoldani found the back of the net and made it 4-1 here. Great stuff. It's really, really good to see that. Especially, yeah, Reskoldani to get back on the score sheet. And that's defended well. It's 4-1 away from home, and we advance as really expected. Uh, Juan Bernat had a killer game. Killer game. Do you think I should play him more at left mid? At least when Di Maria is not available. Well, or when he's at least not playing. He wasn't available, just he gave him a rest. Because Bernat, he's quick, get forward. He's got good creative ability. And it was shown in this game uh, by bagging three assists. So that's basically it. Played two games in this episode. Uh, again, next episode will be crucial. We've got the Champions League game against AC Milan. Where are we again? Yeah, we're still in that position. Uh, CSKA can still be a danger. Now, we've got two draws. It's not ideal. We've got to push on. So that's what's going to be happening there. Leading goal scorer in the Champions League is this uh, school teach for uh, Partizan. Yeah, he's done well in Champions League. Not too good in the league. He just looks like an average striker, not worth signing or something like that. Interesting, he's only on 800 per week. <laughs> But yeah, uh, as I said, that's basically it. Next episode, like I said, two away games, Wigan, AC Milan, but then games are going to get more difficult. Like, look at those games in a row. Uh, we've got AC Milan, Champions League, then back in the league, we've got Man City, Arsenal, then Besiktas in the Champions League. So yeah, next episodes are going to be real crucial. But if you enjoyed this episode, uh, drop a like, uh, subscribe if you haven't yet, and I will see you guys next time.